welcome back everybody so this is going to be the last part of this video and it is going to be a very short video i have assignment number 16 for you uh, which will be i think very simple for you after uh, the after you just uh, understand what i'm trying to do in this video so let's get started first of all uh, we'll be seeing about union and, and intersection so you have done uh, union and intersection of sets multiple times i'm sure in your 12th classes or 11th classes in your college life as well so how to do a union so let's say i have a set that is named as an l and this set contains the values of one two three four and five and my another set i have m which contains the values such as 456 112 554 556 and 2 and the value of 5 now i just want to see uh, how to do a union so what a union means is means it will just combine all the values of sets and give me a new set so if i want to do it right way so let's say my that set will be n and i want to do union so i'll just simply write my sets name of set one that is l for union you just use this sign of vertical bar which is above the uh, backslash in your keyboard and after that you write your second set name m now if you just sorry now if you just write print your n set okay i have forgot to uh, execute this again again i'll do this you can see that it has combined me all the values all the values have been given in now into my new set i have that set n so this is you this is how uh, you perform a union right now let's say what uh, intersection is intersection how do you do intersection now if i want to intersect i want to make a new set which just have the intersection values of l and m it means both common values of l and m so i'll simply uh, now this time let's say my set name will be k you write your set first name l you use the and sign and symbol and you just write m now if you print k it will give me the only the common values and the common values between both of them are just 2 and 5 so this is how you do a union and intersection of two sets you can also do it for multiple number of sets so it's not mandatory that you just uh, you have to do it uh, for your two sets only you can do it by your own self and uh, now i have an assignment for you what you have to do is in this is in this assignment is that let's understand the problem statement i have drilled two wells in an area okay there is a specific area i have drilled two wells there in the first well, I, encou I encountered the formations shell, uh, shale, sandstone and limestone. I encountered these three um, formations. And in the second well when which I uh, drilled, I just encountered only a sandstone and a salt dome. Right. So what you have to do is, you have to create uh, two sets first. First set for well one, uh, which will contains this uh, shale, sandstone, and limestone, and the second set in which you have con uh, for well two, which contains only sandstone and salt dome. And you have to give me two uh, another sets, two another sets. Uh, first one of them which will which contain that uh, all the all the formations which I have encountered in that area. It means the addition of well one and well two and after that if i want just a second set in which i just want uh, formations which are common to both the wells so these uh, this is a very simple assignment for you and i'm sure that you'll be able to do it by yourself so uh, this is all about sets guys and from next video we'll start a new topic and i'll see you there thank you for joining